Fires are still burning in Brixton in South London after an evening of rioting. It began as a demonstration of anger after police had shot and seriously wounded a woman while searching her house. Mother injured, deaths in a cell. No one is guilty even sent to jail except for the grieving son. And the grieving wife is told in the name of justice there goes this life when the bullet of the gun is sent on its deadly course fired in anger without no remorse. I will think of nothing except one pain, the gross injustice of my mother's pain. New Scotland Yard today offered a public apology for the accidental shooting of Cherry Gross nearly three decades ago. She was crippled by a police bullet in 1985. Riots erupted and the area was again in flames for the second time in four years. The catalyst was a nighttime raid on the Gross's family home. Armed police came looking for one of her sons on suspicion of armed robbery, but it ended in disaster. The deal was, I got a message on a Friday saying I can hand myself in and I'm not gonna be wanted for the robbery and blah, blah, blah. But it was during the night they decided to work on the, come to my mum's house. But the, the reason came because I was, got released from prison, this was my parole address. So my mum's already in the bedroom and she's heard a noise. And it's when she got up to answer the door, look, opened the door, they was already in the passage. He's looking for movement to then take me out and he's seen it. Now, he hasn't identified what the movement is. He just saw movement, then he's fired, then he's realised, and then he's gone to him and realised I've shot a one person. The inspector stood trial in 1987 on a charge of inflicting unlawful and malicious grievous bodily harm on Cherry Gross. He was acquitted and there was no disciplinary action taken against him. If you've got two police with guns in their hands coming into your door, right, and they've given the sort permission to shoot, it can become dodgy. This was a family who suffered a gross injustice, where there's a clear causal link between Mrs. Gross's death and that shooting. You've got an organisation like that, that power that can all, they investigate themselves, and then they've got the power to cover it. You know, it took 30 years for it to come out. So. The investigating officer concludes, the operation was not reasonable and grave risks were created, and that, at the very least, Inspector Lovelock displayed professional ineptitude. They're not going to admit that, are they, in 1985, that it was their fault. That's not going to happen.